Need to get your Shopify website verified in Google Merchant Center? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. Let's go. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Google Merchant Center account verified with your website for your Shopify store. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm in the Google Merchant Center dashboard right now. I'm gonna go up to settings over here and then go to business information. It's gonna to go to this page here. You should add in that de those details anyway, if you haven't already, but I'm gonna to go to website. Here's when we put in the URL. So make sure you include the HTTPS, www. This is my website, keysurfers.com. Save. Make sure you get this right and make sure if you're using www, you actually use that, okay? You can try using uh, Google Analytics and verify. That's a really easy, good way to do it, but sometimes that doesn't work with Shopify. It's just how Shopify works, but you can click that as long as the email in your Merchant Center account is the same as in your Analytics account and you have installed Analytics properly on your Shopify site. It, 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 it can work, but sometimes it doesn't. So I prefer this way because it's super, super easy. So it may seem a bit hard because you're doing code, but I'm gonna walk you through it exactly. So don't stress. So. Um, firstly, go over to here, it says, I have access to my server. And then here you can select these two options, but we're definitely gonna choose this one. Add an HTML tag to my homepage. What this means is that we're gonna go to our Shopify store and add a little bit of code, which is super easy to add so that Google can check it and go, oh yeah, Sam or whoever you are actually knows that actually owns this store. Okay, so it says to copy, to use this method, you need to add this meta tag to your ho site's homepage. So let's copy the meta tag and let's go over to our Shopify dashboard here. So I'm in my Shopify dashboard here for my website. I'm gonna to go to online store. It's gonna open up the themes panel here. So this is just the, the default theme that's installed, but we're gonna edit, edit this anyway. Go to edit code. And maybe this seems to be scary for you if you haven't done much HTML work or code work at all, but I'm, I'm gonna make it really easy. So make sure you go over to theme liquid. So this should say theme.liquid here. And this is the main template for your Shopify theme. And so we're gonna put it after the head. What I want you to do is I want you to press, I want you to search. So con 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 Command F, it's gonna pull up this and type in this. It's gonna be little square, like the, the arrow brackets slash head. That's gonna find the end of this section here. We wanna put it at the end of this section and you'll know it's the end because it has this slash head, there's only one of those in the file, in the in the sheet here. And then after that, you'll see this, it'll say body. That's where the actual content starts. But don't worry about that too much. What we wanna do is just before the, the head, we wanna paste in that code that we got from Google Merchant Center. So it's this code here, you've copied that, and then you're gonna just gonna put it right here, super easy. We're then gonna click save. It's gonna save and sometimes it takes about five to 10 minutes to actually show up on your website. Sometimes this happens. So what we can do now is we're gonna go back and click verify. But what I like to do sometimes is also just double check to make sure it's on the store. So you can click the little eye symbol. It's gonna open up your own Shopify store. So here's my store, terrible store. I haven't done anything to it yet. Uh, but if I go here and go view page source, I'm in Google Chrome. It works in Firefox as well and it'll show the code. Same thing, Com control F and I'm gonna search for head. Oh, there it is. And there's that bit of code that I added. So that's now live on my website. So now it just means that Google needs to make sure that they've crawled that site and shows it there. So let's verify and see if this works. Give it a second. Boom, we're now verified. Woohoo! yeah, verified. Now we need to claim our website URL. So that means that only we can use that. Boom, we have now claimed and verified our URL and our website and we're all good. So now we can start um, setting up the rest of our account. I hope that helped you get verified in Google Merchant Center. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. That tells YouTube, hey, I'm making great content for you guys out there. If you have any questions at all about this process and how to get your Shopify store verified on Google Merchant Center, leave a comment below. I answer all the comments. I go through and provide a good response to everything. So please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you wanna see more tutorials about how to grow your e-commerce store, consider subscribing. I release a lot of content out there and I provide all that information there for free to my audience. So take a look at the rest of my channel too. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.